I'm sorry, across the campus such as this one. He moves between representational, representational painting and abstract by using icons that are steeped in history from pharaohs, ancient kings, queens, slave ships, and slave castles. Gardner states, the focus of my work is to push the envelope of my subconsciousness. My current visual vocabulary merges cartography and drafting and is paired with both brilliant and muted hues mixed from dry pigment and balanced with soft and head and soft and hard imagery. Jocelyn Rainey's work is chiefly influenced by her environment coupled with past and present influences that relate to social, political, religious, and moral issues. Her palette demonstrates her love of primary color and texture. Collage from canvas cutouts often offer new venues for invention and color development. She responds to the encaustic medium building relief surfaces. Much of her iconography features text and found studio images, as well as recycled clothing. That's pieces. <laughs> right. <Hi. That's> <laughs> Singer Reed. The Detroit News pronounced him one of Detroit's new faces of leadership in a headline the papers, art critic Joy Colby raved that, sing, that Mr. Reed's, Mr. Reed opens his work to the viewer, making us sharply aware of the exuberant brush strokes and sizzling sense of his color. His work is so fresh, it's almost as if he's painting right before our eyes, bringing us into the center of the action. Reed's paintings are rich in atmosphere, color, and references to contemporary political and social issues. His work has been exhibited in a wide range of venues in Detroit, Ann Arbor, and New York with great critical praise. Thank you. Thank you. That's yeah, Singor. And if uh, they briefly wanted to talk about their work, um... they will talk about it. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I just I, I always like to talk about the studio process and, and working in the studio. And uh, one thing I found the more time you spend in the studio, that, that the studio has a has, uh, habit of teaching you. And uh, if you stay in the studio long enough, the studio will kind of tell you what colors to mix and which uh, paintings you need to make. And then from time to time, uh, you, you know, a painting will talk to you. And then you, you move on to another one. And I, I think my biggest thing about painting uh, and being an artist is that I, I feel very fortunate, I feel very lucky, at, uh, because it just makes, it, it makes my life you know, really full and worth living. Uh, not that it wouldn't be if I was an artist, but I always find that next thing, wherever I go, I can find something to do. Uh, like I was telling a young man earlier, wh wherever I go, I go to a museum or I go to a gallery. You know, if I go, I was in Vancouver and went to try to visit all of the galleries and museums and things like that. So it's just dealing with the creative process. And uh, and, and also, I like to say, I'm, I am a Detroiter. I'm a product of Detroit Public Schools. And uh, I got a lot, of, a lot of information, a lot of my foundation from the public school system. And uh, on top of that, you know, I had my family supported me. And, uh, and I just received an award from my, my church, uh, Plymouth United, uh, Sunday, for um, the Black Achievement Award. And I was going to <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything, but and they started naming all of this stuff, you know, and I'm going, well, I guess I've been kind of, you know, a little bit pissed, you know, but I always mention my parents and how they, um, they kind of nurtured me, and all through my life, I've always managed to have uh, either a drawing board in, in the front in the living room, and you know, we lived in a flat, and I had the drawing board there, and then the older I got, I moved into having the easel, so I would always have my work out front. And uh, one thing that my father would always tell me was that he really liked what I was doing, but he didn't know what I was doing. But, <laughs> but he said, whatever I did, my spirit was infused into the work. And that's one thing I always remember about, about my father and, uh, you know, them uh, nurturing my work and always encouraging me. So that's, you know, art is something I'm going to do from now on. So, What's your name again? Garden. I'm What's Safel Garden. Pardon? Which are your pieces? Uh, this piece here, there's two over there, two small ones. Uh, 
Those two on vinyl, <laughs> with a couple of my experimental pieces. The two on vinyl are, are Mr. Gardner's most recent work. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. And uh, no, this one back here in the frame. Yeah. So those those are my pieces. So, thank you.